Hello! During the past couple of weeks, strange phenomena were observed in the skies by millions. People observed red sun, black sun, blinking sun, and a strange ball of light. Although all these four were observed over three or four continents by millions or at least by tens of thousands of people, still the official so-called science doesn't seem to show vivid interest in researching them and in addition they received suspiciously little attention from the mainstream media. Instead of that, they successfully continued as usual to bamboozle the masses with fairy tales about black holes, which of course are very far away and visible, and therefore you can say whatever you wish about them, and as long as it is uh, full of complicated scientific terms, and of course it will uh, look all very real, because it's scientific, and it is backed up, of course, by colorful, eye-catching illustrations. In this way, the attention of the masses is diverted and at the same time, people get the feeling that they are learning something important, while in reality they are losing even a grasp of what is happening in their immediate vicinity, just above their heads. Now let's start with the red sun, which may look like the most innocent out of the four that I just listed. It was observed in France, UK, parts of Germany, almost all of Scandinavia and places in the Baltics region. These are actual images from Scandinavia from that day. Pay attention to the position of the pointers of the clocks. In the middle of the day, all of a sudden, all of a sudden it became so dark that even the sheeple who are usually, usually so preoccupied with grazing that they don't see what's happening around, even they went into panic mode and decided that it is the end of the world. And since they were so confused, they didn't know what else to do but to call their shepherds on the emergency hotlines, I'm not joking, they really did that, and complained to them that probably the end of the world is coming. Bang! Can you do something? So the shepherds replied to them that uh, don't you worry, this is by the way now from London, don't you worry, these are clouds from Sahara and from the fires of Spain, and uh, no, it is not yet the end of the world. You are not yet brought to the slaughterhouse, we'll feed you a bit more so that you become a bit fatter and then you will qualify. And so the local news outlets told the people, don't you worry, these are just clouds from Sahara and it looks so scientific, look at the scientific diagram. Yes, yeah, so also if you see it in the newspaper, you wouldn't really bother to read that this is actually a forecast. It means another imagination. And in France, people were told these are the fires in Spain, there are smokes, don't you worry. Really, then how come on this day and definitely on the next 17th of October, the same red sun was observed in Russia, the Baltics, and according to some reports, even in USA and the Philippines. In Russia, it was observed by thousands that not only it was unusually red for a long time, but it also blinked, turned completely black, and then, again in a second, it switched back to normal. While it turned to black, it did not become dark. I mean darker on earth, although the day was dark as such because of the red sun already, it didn't turn darker when it switched off.
so the sun turning red and black was observed in the Russian city of Pskov and the surrounding areas. And while the red sun phenomenon lasted long, the black blinking was very short. I don't know if anybody captured that particular black sun, but this is a footage of a previous such phenomenon which lasted much longer, and people had time to take out their cell phones and film it. So, what thousands of people witnessed in Skov is extremely important, because it shows the connection between the red sun and the black sun and the blinking of the sun. Yes, the sun blinks. So the blinking occurred in Russia, and just the days before that, on 13 October 2017. It happened in front of the eyes of thousands of Nigerians. This is now an actual footage of the Nigerian blinking. It continued long enough for the people to film it, and again it was witnessed by thousands. And it was strong, not something slight. The miracle took place at the time of the Christian religious gathering, and just a small reminder that the miracle of Fatima took place exactly on the same date, 13 October in the year 1917. Again, the miracle consisted of extremely unusual behavior, and again it was witnessed by thousands. Then, more interesting stuff in the skies again this October, and actually a couple of days ago again, countless witnesses this time it happened in the Damska district of Russia. It went on for some time, and was also caught on camera by two professional photographers who at that night were filming the Northern Lights. So what people basically saw was a giant ball of light which grew in size and appeared to become less dense as it was growing. Very similar, by the way, to what was witnessed in Hawaii in 2014. Again, this is the actual footage from Hawaii. And these are non-professional photos of the Russian ball of light in the district of Tomsk. Allegedly, that ball of light in Tomsk was a result of a launch of a rocket, which we are told took place three hours before the phenomena was observed. Only God knows what kind of rocket is this. Is it a rocket and where is it going? And hopefully it's not like all the others, which pathetically simply make a new turn and land very shortly after they have been launched. That's what we see on the amateur videos taken by honest citizens. And as far as the video footage showing a rocket which reaches space or let's say its alleged destination, the space station, such a video nobody has seen, neither from official or amateur sources till date, although it is perfectly within the 
capacity of the modern photography. And in relation to space missions and so on, if you are not aware of the numerous solid proofs that all the so-called footage and photographs of the alleged space missions are nothing else but often poor quality computer generated garbage, please watch this video. A massive amount of taxpayer money is funneled into so-called space mission projects. It comes from the pockets of the citizens of all advanced countries practically. So we know what they are not doing with this money. And these are the imaginary space missions we see on TV. But what are they actually doing with the money? Is it being spent on projects like uh, spraying us with poison trails from the skies? It's like almost daily here, at least in Europe. And sometimes after spraying, there are these weird black things in front of the sun. That shouldn't be a big problem. Apparently the sheep, well, they just look at the grass, of course, and continue playing football. As seen on these photographs, I mean. So the sun can blink, as testified by thousands, at least in Nigeria for sure. Now this footage from Brazil, along with many other amateur videos showing the same phenomenon, I really don't know what is the story behind, by how many uh, people was it witnessed. So, in other words, the numerous additional cases cannot be considered a solid proof. But we have at least two cases, the one in Portugal 100 years ago and now in Nigeria, when we have tens of thousands of witnesses. And so the question arises, if the nature of the sun is even more or less the way we have been taught in school, and since people have definitely seen it blinking, and since we have supposedly only one sun, why the people in the other parts of the world did not see it blinking as well? So something doesn't seem to match, or maybe the sun is not, we are told, after all. Not to mention that the moon, the other celestial body that we can observe relatively well, also doesn't behave as supposed. Do you see the waves that pass through the... <clears throat> how to say the moon or the image of the moon or maybe what we think is the moon is actually only an image. So a good number of um, such waves on the moon have been filmed by independent sky watchers who by the way have attempted many times to collaborate with official scientists and find out together what's going on, but apparently the official establishment has no interest in studying the lunar waves. They're more into the abstract stuff, you know, so to say. Stuff that the common people can't see, you know. In reality, the fact that the sun is blinking will look confusing and strange only for those who are disconnected from the truth, those whose sense of discrimination has been distorted by wrong education, and the real downward people in the real sense of the word, they will understand that this is not impossible. Because those who felt that there is a higher sense in life, there is more to living, than grazing. Those who really 
ask themselves who am I and why did I get born on earth, they already know that they live in a holographic world, in a world of illusion, something unreal. And the sun and the moon, of course they are holograms, they cannot be anything else, because all that we perceive in our senses are holographic images anyway. And this is not a truth that has been discovered recently, as it may appear by reading the articles shown on the screen. This is also most essential part of uh, many, if not most, ancient traditions. For example, see Hinduism, the world, the perceivable world, which most people call real, is nothing but the manifestation of Maya, the illusory energy of the Creator, or in modern terms, in this case, he will be called the software developer who wrote the code for the game in which we live in, because the life that so many of us take so seriously is non different than uh, getting carried away by a computer game to the point that you uh, really feel what the imaginary character avatar from the, sc the screen is uh, doing at the moment. Okay, so how do you make the sun blink or take upon different colors in a computer game? Well, as far as the particular game in which we live in and in which you hear this video, 99% of us, at least, have taken the avatars of sheeple. And that particular character of the online game, unfortunately, has got uh, not enough privileges. He, the sheep, or she, the sheep, won't be able to remove the image of the sun or change its color even, in it, even on its own computer screen. What to speak of uh, switching it on, a, on and off for the other users of the game? No, it doesn't work like this. I think you need the minimum, at least, the avatar of a magician to do such things. And of course, all the moderators of the game also have privileges much higher even than those of the magicians and the shamans. The best example of somebody who's got the privileges of a moderator in our computer game of our lives is Jesus Christ. And maybe it's not by chance that the lamb is one of the most prominent symbols of Jesus. It makes sense, after all, to appear as a lamb amongst the sheep so that they will accept you as one of them and you can spread your message more effectively. And it is not just in the Eastern spiritual traditions that this world is viewed as illusory. Also in the traditional paradigm of the tribes in South America, for example, in the Amazon jungle, of that I have direct experience. I'm talking of uh, tribes that are semi-civilized, we don't really have access to really, really uh, wild ones, because once they get in touch with us, they are no longer wild. So, they also definitely consider this life, this world that we call real, to be the illusory one, while the realm of the spirits is the tangible and real one. So other people would formulate it like this, and that it is a part of their philosophical system to consider this world illusory while the spirit world is considered the real, tangible, fundament of 
everything. I think um, philosophical system is a bit exaggerated. They they don't deal with such complex things. They don't have um, even such terms in their language to put together any philosophical system currently, at least that we can understand. In other words, these are not things that they have heard from somebody and they believe in. These are common sense, self-evident things, because um, they still know a lot of magic. It's something obvious, self-evident in the sense that um, they go to the spirit realm and accomplish different uh, tasks. Maybe not exactly switching on and off the sun, but switching on and off somebody being sick, for example, or the possibility of a certain event happening or not. They go in the spirit realm and turn on or off the switch of what they desire, and it works. So, obviously, the places where these switches are found that is the control panel, that is the higher authority. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to draw some conclusions. First of all, the modern so-called science of astrophysics doesn't really aim at solving the mysteries of the creation around. It can't be trusted because it seems to be tailored to just keep us anchored in the paradigm of those who are herding us as sheep. And finding a really a pure and reliable information about the universe seems to be extremely difficult. Everything is so mixed, even the alternative science. Yes, they put a little bit more truth in the mixture, but it's still not the pure thing, usually. For example, years ago I used to listen to Project Camelot, and I still recommend one of um, Carrie's interviews with an European official. But nowadays I can't recommend her even anymore. The information there has become so much diluted with nonsense, like, for example, obvious scams like caching. The last interview which I heard was, I believe, last year. And in that interview we were told that the poison trail program of spraying has ended and they are not gonna do it anymore and since that day here it's like every day well in the past I would notice it just a couple of times per month and it is rapidly getting worse and worse just very recently YouTube and the rest of the gang shamelessly even officially announced that they are censoring alternative outlets of information how did it impact my channel, for example? In the past, people who are interested in this type of information could find um, links to my videos on their homepage, like recommended by Google uh, based on their interests. But since they implemented this new scheme of detecting truthful videos and um, trying to minimize their exposure, what happens is all of a sudden my traffic from that source ceased and only people who are already subscribed, only they can still find out when I post new videos. So in other words, in the stuff that they recommend, that they channel people to, they gradually increase the percentage of garbage. They can't like immediately cut off all truth because um, too many people will notice. But they gradually and gradually decrease. And in a couple of years, they will cut it off completely, probably. Or they can cut off completely even the next month. I guarantee you that at least here in Europe, most people won't even notice, and those who do will do almost nothing about it. So, in other words, if you really, really wish not to become a remotely controlled zombie, in the most direct sense of these words, because even openly now they are telling us that they have a technology 
which can influence the thoughts of an individual from a distance, I don't know to what an extent, but at least, surely the people whose spirit is not very strong do get influenced, hear voices, and after that they commit crimes as directed by those voices. So if you don't want to join that club within a couple of years, it would be a good idea to embark on a genuine spiritual practice now and strengthen the connection with your spirit, with your higher self, because very soon or practically already, you can't really rely on spiritual guidance and somebody telling you what to do. In the past, all roads used to lead to Rome. Now all roads lead to the slaughterhouse of the sheep, but they are not labeled properly. Instead of slaughterhouse, it is written democracy, anti-terrorism, brotherhood of all men, spiritual teacher or even Buddhism in some cases. Let me give you an example with the Buddhism road sign towards the slaughterhouse. By chance I happen to know a person who holds a very high government position because he is keenly interested in spirituality. He regularly goes to spiritual gatherings and in general is a very nice person if you meet him. For example, when in his local village they have some sort of celebration, he will work as a waiter for free, so he's also humble. So when I uh, try to talk to him on the subject of uh, the crimes that the government he's working for basically organizes and supports, and what is his personal role in all this, being a head of a commission, and he replied that, you know, I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, that sounds very spiritual. And I just do whatever those who pull the strings on the top require. Then he continued explaining. And that's fine. Why? Because everything is one. So there is no difference anyway. And because the most important thing for a spiritual person is to love everything. So apparently he implied that this everything includes the hideous crimes that the governments organize. So are the ideas of going with the flow in life and loving everything really spiritual? Yes, most definitely. But when the wolf on this image takes them out of context, then then we have the modern society where people have become so stupid that they even go to war or commit crimes. And it is all in the name of peace and love. And now let's wind it up on a more positive note while watching a footage of two sons. If a blinking and seeing black sun wasn't enough, this should be. So at the end I just wanted to share with you what I have found so far in terms of real and genuine and pure information. I don't claim these are the only sources of pure information, but they are the best ones that I have encountered during my decades-long search of truth. The only source of which I'm aware and that I can call absolutely pure, to best of my knowledge till now, is the channeled material by Jane Roberts, published as Set Books. The best way to start is with the Nature of Personal Reality free PDF form is available online. Now, that's very high-level information which most people will find very difficult to digest initially. Even when I read it for the first time, it was difficult for me, although I've been a fringe person, so to say, since childhood, living on the edge of the society in terms of the belief system. I never owned the TV or believed the mass media. And still it took me a couple of years until I could really get convinced that the set material is the truth. One may even need a bridge initially to make it from the current paradigm of understanding to the one proposed by Seth. And the best bridge I have found are the exercises by Yogani, 
which can be also found free of cost on a website called advancedyogapractices.org. It's abbreviated AYP.org. And to those who wish to directly perceive without any delay, rather quickly, that we live in an illusory world, to them I would recommend the connection with the ancient spirit of ayahuasca. And now one final note on the quality of this particular video. When I saw it for the first time, the black dot seemed rather odd. It also changes shapes. That's one other thing the sun sometimes does. So when I first saw this footage, I really thought this black dot seems artificially added. But as I found uh, many other footages of um, similar phenomena being witnessed, it turns out that really many ordinary people, when they record it with their cell phones or video cameras, that's how it looks like exactly. For example, this is a video of two guys who caught Black Sun while driving on their security camera. By the way, the camera was recording the audio as well, and two of them also saw it with their eyes and were even discussing it, and one of them apparently knew that this is uh, happening sometimes. They didn't find it very, very unusual. Which, on the other hand, should not make you think that we are dealing with some simple optical illusion. Don't forget that the phenomena of the black sun was witnessed by thousands in combination with red sun and blinking sun, and that connection is extremely, extremely important. This is a black sun photographed in Canada. And this is yet just another car security camera footage, one out of the many. As far as red sun, there is such a natural phenomenon as well, but of course this doesn't mean that all types of red sun are natural, at least in the sense that most people put in the word natural. But as far as black sun, no. And apparently there are different types of red sun. The one that is associated with black sun doesn't seem to be natural.